Hello and welcome to Leon's Lock Pad. Um, stock Lock Sunday, so we're doing a stock lock. But before we get into any of this, if you're interested in lock support, you want to get involved, please check out www.uklocksport.co.uk, which is UKLS, or you find me on Discord, Extraordinary League Pickers, and at UKLP at Lock Picking and Lock Sport on Facebook. And if you'd like to see my channel, you want to see some more, hit that subscribe button, that bell icon, which is down there over there. I make two, three videos a week from picking locks to challenge locks, tutorials to giveaways to all type of lock stuff related, really. Um, so, we're going to have a go at picking this style lock made in England. Got a couple of these. I've sent a few out as well. Let me show you a bit in, which is... Uh, not too bad. Does work. Got a nice snap to it. Also, Vic, my friend, if you are watching, I have found the clone core. There's the bit in for it, there's the key. It works really smooth. And the clip drops off the back, I did sort that out. Um, it works really smooth. For a clone, it's actually not too bad. Uh, these, The pins in this are about a quarter of a mil bigger than American pins, but the American pins in it, pins fit in it, absolutely fine, I've tried it, I've even pinned it up and had a mess around with it at one point, um, but like I say, it does work in 1100s, or 1105s, even 12s, so um, let me know, and like I said, I can send that one off to you next week. Also, um, I remember that Bill Bacardi had a lock sent to him, I think it was off, um, Paul, and it was the black oval with a spider painted on it. Well, do you know what? I thought I'd have a go myself. Not painted a spider, but I got the oval. And because I thought, do you know what? I'm always modifying cars, RC cars, all types of things, including locks. Thought, well, give it a paint. As you can see, I think it looks uh, rather nice in black. I'll just let do have the key for it. Uh, but. My drawing skills are not too bad. My painting skills, in the sense of painting with a very small brush, my objects, not very good. Um, so I'm going to get a transfer to stick on there. But yeah, a bit of fun. Um, right, let's get on with this, um, picking this lock. Also, I found a ruler in my toolbox. I must have found it a long time ago. Um, it is a... I can't see what it's called. Oh. Chester, Chester, one Sheffield, England. It's Sheffield steel. It's a really old, precise ruler. And um, with it being stainless steel, I thought, you know, I could make a pick out of this. But I think it's, I can't get it to focus. It's far too thin and flimsy. Strong, but it won't be worth it to ruin a, a perfectly good vintage ruler. Uh, so it looks like we've got an F keyway there. I call them F keyways, even though it's upside down at the moment. It looks like a F. Yeah. I'm going to use a homemade tension wrench and I'm going to use my Daz Evers Tiger Stripe hook, I call this. And I have not, I've not picked this lot before. Let's look at the keyway right here. That got nice. Okay, nothing then. Try one. Click on two. Three. Four. Four. <laughs> that was two, sorry. 
fulcrum coming backwards. That was an overset, definitely. Tolerances in this are actually quite good. Very, uh, there we go. Very smooth with the pins. Tricky bugger. I think it's just one pin. There you go. We're open. It was number one. Oh. So that was a uh, fairly tricky. Um, this is, I've got the box for it as well, this one, it's actually brand new. Um, I got given a couple of them off, a few people, and uh, I just sent them off, as well as uh, kept one for myself. It's definitely got some uh, ping to it when it opens, but um, yes, that was my stock lock for stock lock Sunday. Well, um, move this out of the way. Well, I hope you do enjoy the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And bye. Don't forget to like.